Hello, welcome back. I'm Scott Schubert with Trading Mastermind, and today I'm going to show you two simple things that you can do to any trading strategy to take it from one that's not working and instantly increase the number of winning trades. So let's do it now. Okay, so if you've watched my previous video here, you may know that the very idea of having a trading strategy is itself counterproductive to getting good results in trading. And in that video, I show you exactly why that's true. But there is one thing that I can share with you right now that will increase the probability of any trading strategy by adding two simple filters. You can take a strategy that might be averaging 30 or 40 percent wins when used over a long period of time. Like maybe one week you might have 80 percent wins, but then the next week you have 20 percent and you have to average those together. And then you can change it into a strategy that might be getting 60 or 70 percent wins over time. And if you can increase the number of winning trades by any number, what would that do to your bottom line results? And as you know from watching this video, if you even got 50% winning trades, but your winning trades average twice as big as your losing trades, you will have excellent increase in capital. That's a mathematical fact. There's no guarantee that you can achieve those numbers in your trading. Typical results are to fail and to lose. And we should all know that that's the real fact here. So what strategy are you using now? Maybe you go to a certain time frame and draw trend lines or support and resistance lines and then enter when price breaks a certain level. Or maybe you have a proprietary indicator that turns green or pops up a green arrow. Well, there's one thing you can add to that that many traders never caught on to. So if there's an entry signal, it's a valid signal. If you enter a trade, what needs to happen next? What needs to happen to prove that that was a valid entry signal? The market would need to start moving and move with impulsive movement and go into a different price range and take out recent highs and lows. And this is the thing that a lot of traders also don't catch on to. Can we make the market do that? And how often does the market do that? No, we can't make it do that. So to be successful, what we would need to do is wait and only enter when the market is doing that. And we would need to, to be able to develop the ability to recognize the market is doing that or not doing that in advance. How many times do you enter a trade and the market just doesn't go anywhere? Well, if that were the problem, who would need to be able to know and recognize that the market is forming some kind of a genuine impulsive move and not coming back to the same price range? Who would need to be able to do that? That's right. We would, you and I. So here's what you want to do. Open a chart and look at it. First, you want to know that it's true that if you enter a good trade, the market will take off with impulsive movement and not come back into the same price range. And that that would be the very definition of a profitable trade. If the market doesn't do that, then it wasn't a good trade. So as you look at a chart and begin to understand the phenomenon of what it looks like when the market is doing that, you should be able to see all the turning points on the chart. Even the very concept of trend following means that if there is a trend on a longer time frame, the way to enter that trend would be to go to a shorter time frame and enter when there is a turning point when an end of a correction is forming and it begins to move in the direction of the longer time frame trend. Even the slightest degree of common sense should enable you to realize that that's true. So then notice what time these turning points happen. So you can and should be able to read this on all time frames. Just for the sake of demonstration, let's look at a medium time frame and notice what time these turning points 
are happening. So if I'm here on the euro versus the dollar, you will see this familiar pattern that we have all been following for the past three months. And this pattern is forming a clear, distinct type of known pattern that isn't really a surprise because we can see what it's doing. It is a pattern and it, by the way, has been staying in the same price range. So on the longer time frame, you can't be trading and getting profit if it's still in the same price range. You would have to leave that price range in order for you to get profit. So if you see all of these clear turning points as this is forming this amazing and distinct pattern over the last three months. It goes down, then it turns and goes up, then it stops going up and turns and goes down. And it stops going down and turns and goes up. Well, there are specific methods for you to be able to see and identify those points. And that's what I've been talking about for the last 16 years and made all these videos about. Some people realize that we're able to do that and some people don't. Doesn't really matter. A few people will understand that if you intend to get profit, this is how you would want to do it. So notice now, if I go from this 12 hour time frame down to the one hour time frame, what is it that you would want to know? You would want to know what time did these things happen? So I have this chart set to uh, Asian time zone locally. And so you can see here that this point right here is right at the beginning of the London session, right there. This point right here is right at the beginning of the New York session. So New York session, London session, boom, boom. This point right here, right at the beginning of the New York session. And go back here, this point right at the beginning of the New York session. This point here, right at the beginning of the New York session. This point here, that's the beginning of the New York session. That's when it stopped moving up. And this point right here, right at the beginning of the London session, exactly right at the beginning of the London session. So if I go back to the 12 hour, you can just see London session, New York session, New York session. Each of these is right at the beginning of those sessions. Is that a coincidence? No. So what is it that you might want to do? Well, here's the thing. If you look at a chart, and you think that it might be forming an entry signal, don't enter it unless it's at those known times. There are only known times when the market actually makes a move, turning and moving one direction, and then move in the opposite direction and keep moving in that direction, which is what would be required in order for anyone to get profit by entering a trade. Now, you would think that anyone involved in trading would see this on the first day that they are involved in trading or certainly you would think that they would check and see within the first week a person plans to trade professionally they have a chart anyone in the world can look at a chart it's there it's not a secret thing anyone can look at a chart and see that so you would think that every person on the first day or if at least within the first week would see that this is true. Now, before the recent global economic crisis, before the, the UK went into Brexit, this was even more pronounced and you could see that every turning point and every entry was exactly at these particular times of day. And it's not the same for each currency because this is primarily the dollar turning points. The dollar is making its turning point right at the beginning of the New York session. And it used to be that the pound would make its turning points right at the beginning of the London session. But the pound is going through a period of change from Brexit and from COVID-19 issues. But soon, once that's over with, it will go back to people responding to normal news data during the normal time periods. Uh, there are people who have been trading for quite a while who are not aware of how often and 
what time the market forms a basic phenomenon of what should be considered an entry signal. And yet anyone can look at a chart and see that this is a fact. So how is this applied to increase your winning trades? Here's how. It seems that the criteria of an entry signal might be forming, but it's not during those times of day that entry signals are known to form. And now you've seen that this is a fact, you can prove it to yourself, then all you do is don't enter a trade. By doing this, most of the potential losing trades can be eliminated. And that's how you can take a trading strategy that gets a fairly poor win to loss ratio and instantly transform it into a trading strategy that gets a better win to loss ratio. Now, if your trading strategy isn't based on recognizing when the market is making a turn, and, you know, going in one direction, turning and going into another direction, which would be required in order for you to get profit from a trade, then your results still might not be very good. Now, the second filter besides the time of day is that for each entry signal that is valid and causes the market to start moving and follow through and not come back to the same price, that these are happening when there is news. I made another video about the subject of how to trade economic news here. And we'll just mention that many amateur traders will say that they prefer not to trade at the time of news. Well, once you look at a chart and notice that every time there's a turning point, it's at a certain time of day and there's news, you can see for yourself that every valid entry signal is happening when there is news. So I'll let you discover that that is true. How would you do that? Take a chart and look at it and you will see. You'll have to also notice what time the news was for that particular day. What news was it? If there actually was an entry signal and it was valid, chances are it was because there was news. Now lately there have been less of an impact with scheduled news events and often more impact with non-scheduled or unscheduled news events. So one of those two types of, of events has to happen, either a scheduled news event or an unscheduled news event. And the unscheduled news events definitely are having more of an impact now during times of COVID-19 and Brexit. And things that override the normal importance of regular scheduled news events where the release of an economic data is happening. I have another video here that's about that particular subject that shows you how you can totally be aware of what's currently the driving force in the market that's causing entries to happen. If you'd like to know more about what really works in trading, just go to tradingmastermind.com and sign up for our free professional trading course. I have made a series of videos that go deeper into the details of how you can learn to recognize these points where the market is turning, and you can watch that right over here. I'll see you in the next video.